Chibi Robo's on fire. Chibi Robo's on fire. Chibi Robo's on fire. Chibi Robo's on fire. Hey there, fools. Mr. T here with your Pretendo Direct. Man, it's been a long time since I did one of these, and it's good to be back. And we had ourselves a pretty good Direct there, fools. Albeit it was a smaller one. Nintendo called it a Mini Direct, which is something they've done before, I believe. So this wasn't a mainline Direct, and I noticed that some people have been kind of salty about, you know, the ports and all that good stuff. And uh, I just want to remind you, fools, that this was a Mini Direct. Mini Direct. So that very well could mean that there is a full Direct coming later this month or maybe sometime early next month in February. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that, fools. Calm down. It's all good. Yes, of course, we got ports and whatnot, but uh, we also got some new stuff. But unfortunately, people just seem to focus on the ports or what they could consider negative. But I choose not to do that. While I'm not overly excited for more ports to the Switch, I don't mind them because I understand why they exist and also that we got some cool new stuff as well. So why don't we also focus on that? Hmm? What do you say? So okay now, let's talk about the games, fools. We got ourselves a nice surprise with the remastered version of that very cool DS game that I myself own and love called The World Ends With You. This is a very cool RPG game, a very unique style RPG game that came out for the DS, I believe, in 2007 or 2008. And now we're getting a nice, beautiful remaster on the Switch, and it looks great. Now, this is a game that obviously is one of those ports, but there is some new content. But also, a lot of people don't even know what the hell this game is. <laughs> now, people never played this game before. Uh, even though the DS was a phenomenon like it was, this game didn't really sell that great. Uh, it didn't sell terribly or anything, but it didn't sell uh, astronomical numbers that you would expect on the DS. Even though, like I said, I played it myself before, I'm excited to see more people get a chance to play this game. And I think the game's gonna do really well. It should do well. It is an awesome game. Very unique style game. You fools should check it out if you never played it before. Next up, we got some DLC for Pokémon Tournament DX. Um, I haven't gotten the game myself. I actually own the Wii U version, which is one of the reasons I haven't really picked the game up. But uh, there seems to be enough new to the game now that I might have to go ahead and double dip on that. <laughs> Some nice cool uh, additions and fighters and uh, just features to the game. It's probably time for me to go ahead and dig on into that uh, Pokemon Tournament DX. Then we got one of those new games uh, that I'm very excited for. As a huge Kirby fan, I'm very excited to see Kirby Star Allies on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> it's, it's coming out, I believe it said in March. So that's great. I, I can't wait to get my hands on a mainline Kirby game. It's going to be so fun uh, to be able to run through one of those on a console again. It's been a long time, I think, since we had one on console. We had one on what? Uh, uh, like a mainline Kirby game on console. The last time we got one was on the Wii. But yeah, this, this is great to see a new full-fledged Kirby game on console uh, uh, for the Switch. It's just going to be great. Uh, a lot of people hope you guys pick this game up. It looks really fun. As a fan of Kirby, I'm very excited to get my hands on it. So uh, this is great, fools. Then we got some info on uh, Kirby Battle Royale for the Nintendo 3DS. I believe the game is com coming out soon, the Battle Royale, or it's already out. I don't really know. I haven't really paid that much attention to it. <laughs> but we also got Dragon Quest Builders, which is a game I didn't think I would, you know, you know, care too much about because I don't care about Minecraft style games, stuff like that. But I did download a demo and I caught myself. <laughs> I played it for about two hours. I was really surprised that I was playing it that long. So uh, maybe, maybe this might be the Minecraft style game that uh, Mr. T pick up and uh, start to play a lot. So we'll see. And then we got ourselves another port of a Wii U game, Hyrule Warriors, but it's not a, a straight port. And again, it's just making me think, oh boy, am I going to buy this game again? And that is a Hyrule Warriors uh, uh, Definitive Edition, Hyrule Warriors. So what they're doing is they're, con you know, they're giving you all the DLC from the original version on the Wii U, but they're also adding in all the stuff from the 3DS version. Um, 
And I, it's a version I kind of have. I don't really have it. I bought it for my son, so he has it. So I don't. I haven't really played it at all, actually. So they're gonna add the stuff from that version, as well as uh, you know all the DLC from the original version. It's probably gonna be sixty dollars. Oh, if it was fifty dollars, I might. Mm, that might get me to do it, cause then I, you know, I could maybe sell my old version and take some of those, uh, take some of the costs out of it doing that. So. Uh, Hopefully Nintendo does that. Hopefully it'll be fifty dollars. That would be great. A perfect spot, I think. Don't give us a full sixty dollars. Well, it's not really Nintendo's decision. I believe this is uh, one of those uh, decisions that's going to be up to uh, Tecmo Koei. So, you know, we'll see what they do. Hopefully they could bring it in at fifty. Forty would be amazing, but fifty dollars would be uh, preferred. So hopefully they do that. Then of course we got another new game. That's Mario Tennis Aces, which looks really good visually. It looks stunning, beautiful, and uh, you know we got that kind of whack ass version of uh, <laughs> Mario Tennis on the Wii U. Uh, I think it was Ultra Trash. I call it, Ultra Smash. <laughs> I never bought that one because it was very bare bones, and uh, this one does not seem to be bare bones. They, although they didn't talk about any of the online stuff, which I believe will be there. They did mention the story mode, which harkens back to the uh, Game Boy Advance version i believe the 3ds version also has some kind of story mode element to it as well so it's good to see that come back we get the full-fledged mario tennis game uh it's gonna be good to have that unlike we got that ultra trash uh the, that was just trash on the wii u and uh so i'm very excited for that again another new game let's focus on the new games as well folks then we got ourselves a, a little ease eight action lacrimosa of donna i believe that's how you pronounce it i've never played any game in this uh series or anything like that it always looked interesting to me because it had it kind of had that star ocean aesthetic to it um and it kind of feels like monster hunter meets uh, a little bit of uh xeno blade so it looks really cool i'm definitely gonna pick this game up now um and yes it is a port i believe of the ps3 uh, ps vita version and uh, I think there's one on PS4 as well. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, it, it, this is a game that I am looking forward to getting. Uh, this is a game. This is the type of game we didn't see come to the Wii U. And it's very good to see uh, the Switch get neat types of games. So I'm definitely going to support that. And it, it looks like a game that I'd be very interested in. You know, that cool Japanese aesthetic, the Japanese style uh, anime game uh, with all those elements I mentioned. So it looks like something I would definitely have fun with. So I'm going to check that out. Then, of course, we got a. Uh, uh, an update for Mario, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, what is it called, Super, it's called Luigi's uh, Balloon Battles, what is it called, hold on, let me look at my notes down here, so, it's called, uh, Luigi Balloon World, yeah, that's it, Luigi Balloon World, where, uh, you get the, it's basically like a hide and seek type of thing, where you can hide balloons in different, uh, worlds in Mario Odyssey, and, uh, somebody can, you know, you can have your friends or whatever to go find them. And it's kind of a challenge mode type of thing. Pretty cool little thing. I'm a, I think I'm going to have some fun with that. So, uh, you know, there's different worlds that I, it's, 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 run, it's fun to just run through and uh, to have some new challenges for. I'm definitely going to want to play that and check that out. So, I hope they keep doing this kind of stuff with Mario Odyssey because Mario Odyssey just lends well to this type of thing. And doing this... Well, you know, keep, keep the sales going, you know, keep the, the game itself and the limelight and people talking about it. And that will help uh, continue with the great sales. Obviously, Mario Odyssey has great sales already, so it'll continue on with that. So let's look on down more of my notes here. Let's go on to the, the next one. We got uh, SNK Hero, uh, Heroines Tag Team Frenzy. Yes, yes, fools. Yes, getting this game. Yep, no doubt. Uh, I'm a fan of the SNK games, uh, you know, from way back. Uh, they obviously, they have some. Also, they have the old school games, uh, the arcade classics of SNK, uh, like King of Fighters and whatnot, on the uh, Switch as well. And they also mentioned uh, they're going to be releasing uh, Art of Fighting 2 uh, as uh, one of the arcade classics, along uh, with mentioning this game. Uh, it's just very cool. Uh, this is the type of stuff I like to see. This is a core fighting game, uh, you know, from a, a core franchise from way back in the day story franchise and i'm definitely gonna get that i love uh those 2d uh fighters from back in the day mid 90s i uh, used to get be on that grind <laughs> in the arcade so this is definitely um, one i'm looking forward to and uh next up we have uh oh man the 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 uh, story more story stuff more story dlc for mario plus rabbits kingdom battle and uh 
Oh, looks like we got DK in the game. Oh, yeah, fool. No brainer there. I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up in the DLC for this game, but now that DK is in it, yeah, fools, I'm going to go ahead and get that. No doubt about that. <laughs> so, uh, definitely going to pick that up. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. DK's in the game. I loved hearing that music. I wonder if Grant Kirk Hope did the uh, trailer music because it sounded like, you know, he did. Uh, it's obviously a new version of uh, the uh, Donkey Kong music. So, I wonder if uh, Kirk Hope had anything to do with that. Being that he had, uh, he scored the game uh, uh, Mario Plus Rabbit, so I wonder. Hmm. And uh, next up, uh, we got. Celeste, or, yeah, Celeste, I'll go ahead and mention that. Celeste is an indie game, kind of an indie platformer, looks pretty cool, coming. And then we also got Faye, uh, that uh, indie game, uh, through, coming through that EA, I believe, uh, Indie Origins, what is it, what, I forget what it's called, the, the EA program, what helps out the indies and stuff. And uh, it's Faye, coming from those guys who, uh, oh my god, Zoink Games, yeah, Zoink Games, uh, which I, I love Zoink Games. And uh, yeah, one of my favorite platformers on the Wii, also made by Zoint Games. You guys should check it out. It's called uh, the Core Game. Mm, it's, I love, I love that game. One of the best platformers I ever played. I love the Core Game on Wii. Uh, not, I guess it's not really a platformer. Platformer. It's more of an action, third-person action, you know, uh, game with platforming elements. You know, more of a. Uh, more of a, in line with like a Banjo Kazooie or something like that. Not a pure platformer, you know, that you get from like Mario or something. But it, I love that game. It's the story. I love the visuals. Really good visuals for a Wii game. I love that. So if you get a chance, check out the Core Games with a K. K O R E Core Game. Really good game. And then we're going to end it out here with two more ports. Uh, one being. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which is one of my favorite platformers of all time. Um, I, I, what, when did the game come out? 2014. It was my game of the year that year. And uh, I really love Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And it was actually going to be because I was I told you fools I was going to make a list of uh, Wii U ports that I'd like to see come to the Switch. And that was one of them. <laughs> Nintendo beat me to it. So I'm going to go ahead and announce that was one of my picks. So uh, I guess uh, when I do that video, I'll add something else in. But yes, uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is a great game. And they're adding in um, Crazy Kong. What's his name? I think that's his name. Uh, the surfer, <laughs> so uh, you could add him in as uh, uh, extra content, and uh, I think there was some other stuff I can't remember exactly what they're gonna add in. But man, I'm I'm very happy to see this game come to the Switch because it it didn't sell all that well on the uh, Wii U. It barely broke a million copies sold, and uh, for Donkey Kong Country, that's just not good enough. It needs to be two, three, four million plus copies because it's just that kind of game, and uh, it did really well. The the Donkey Kong Country Returns on Wii did over 5 million, I believe. So, um, this was kind of a letdown for the Wii U version and uh, for Part 2. So, hopefully, uh, this game gets some more shine and does really well on the Switch. I'm just, I'm going to pick it up for sure because I'm just a Donkey Kong uh, platforming fiend. So, uh, I would definitely double dip on this. So, <laughs> looking forward to playing this on the go anywhere, anytime I want to. going to be very cool. And uh, Nintendo finished up this Direct with... Uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, Dark Souls is not a series that I care all too much for. Um, yeah, I just never, it just never really appealed to me. Um, but I know a lot of people uh, who like this uh, series, who love this series, and are very excited for it to come to the Switch. And I'm very happy for those fools. Um, I don't believe I'll be picking it up. Uh, maybe for the collection years from now, who knows? <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's not a game. I'm it's not a game I'm looking forward to. So, uh, but I'm I'm definitely happy that these types of games are coming to the Switch again. Stuff that you didn't see come to the Wii U. So I'm very happy for that. And uh, yeah, fools, that's pretty much it for uh, this Pretender Direct. And uh, like I said, it was this was a Direct Mini. So Nintendo could very well drop a big Direct at the end of the month or early next month which i believe they will they have some stuff they got to talk about games that we already know about so uh we know there's a lot more stuff coming so i expect a, a big direct coming and i think that's why they emphasized that this was a mini direct and it just dropped it out of nowhere 
Um, and uh, yeah, fool. So it was very cool. I enjoyed the direct, and uh, I'm looking forward to these games, fools. Uh, let me know what you fools think. Yeah, anything you interested in? You excited? Um, you unexcited? Let me know in the comments below, fools. And uh, that's it for this Pretendo Direct. Domo Origato, fools. Chibi Robo's on fire. Chibi Robo's on fire. <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo be trolling. <laughs> they be trolling fools. Huh? But I love, uh, you know, a big company that has a little fun like that with its fans. That's, that's really cool stuff. <laughs> Chibi Robo's on fire.